Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from The Dude's Kitchen and today we're going to do a smoked Gouda burger. It's one of my favorite burgers. It's inspired by my buddy Ken Rogers, mostly outdoors and also the hashtag inspired burgers. So here's the thing with this episode though. This is our third try at it. We're actually, so the first episode we did, I have this grill over here. You probably remember seeing it in the older episodes. When we did the first smoked Gouda episode, we had just got this thing. It was our third episode we ever did, and I fried the hell out of these burgers. And it's just because it was so difficult to control the temperature. So the next one we did, we did it just the other day on the Cuisinart 360 griddle, right? And they came out perfect. The problem is the neighbor's dogs started barking. Now I've asked these people many a time, guys, come on, please, I'm filming, please, Please don't let your dog sit out there and bark. And then it starts crying. I'm gonna leave you a little excerpt right now. That's not my, the direct neighbor's dog, but that's somebody else's. And I understand dogs bark, and that's cool. But these people just let their dog sit outside, and it cried, and it whined. I finally had to stop shooting and go over one time and tell them. And then they turn around and let the dog come out again right as we were cooking. So anyhow, so I'm gonna do the first part of that episode again and we're just going to cook the burger on we're going to take it out we're going to make the balls we're going to cook the burger on it and then uh then i'll splice the second episode and this one together i apologize guys i'm out of smoked gouda so unfortunately i can't do the second part of it but i think you guys get the point so here we go let's start the cuisinart all right We also have to use different, a little bit different burger than we did last time as well, but that's okay. Mrs. Dude and I bought a half of beef last year, and so we're going to use it this time. I'm just going to make some balls. We all know about that. Huh. Ball joke. I'm, I'm waiting for it. Come on. Let's get a good ball joke going. A little tiny baby one for Steve because he always gets the small ones. So, I'm going to wait for the Cuisinart 360 griddle to warm up. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. So I did put the lid on here to help the Cuisinart warm up a little bit. Now we're going to just take some olive oil. Pour a little bit on here, nothing crazy. Just kind of helps it out a little bit, the burger out a little bit. Flatten it out there a little bit. I'm gonna take our, oh, you hear that? Oh yeah, I'm gonna smash them down. A little smash burger action. Now we're going to take Steve's. We'll put them right, right here. We'll put them right here. So on our burgers, I'm going to put a little indent in the middle. In each one. We did this in the cheeseburger episode as well. And the reason being is that as the burger cooks, the little indent will prevent it from rising up too much. It might help a little bit with shrinkage as well. Yes, I said shrinkage. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Starting to see some browning around the, the sides here. That's a good sign. I think Steve's burger is going to be done first. It's getting pretty close. In fact, I'm going to flip it. Look at that. Yay. I'm going to flip this top one. Things are going to cook pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Those are looking good. You notice we're still kind of keeping, the, keeping it flat here. I like that. Let it cook down a little bit. So from here, we're gonna pick up with the episode that we filmed the other day. Might be a little bit of dog barking, but it's nothing crazy because then the neighbors took their dog in. So I wanna thank you everybody for just kinda, uh, kinda hanging out with us and being patient. So we have our smoked Gouda here. 
open it up. Yes, I did clean this. He's lying, folks. I cleaned it. <laughs> this is true. He cleaned it. At this point, I'm just going to make some Gouda slices. There's our side. For the burgers. So when we get to that point, we can just lay that on there. And try a piece. Mmm. Love Gouda. Let's check out our burgers. Come along pretty good. Let me turn this up just a wee bit. Squeeze our 360 griddle. It's got the two burners on it. Love it. Come along nicely. They're kind of shrinking a little bit, but that's okay because we're not putting them on a bun. We're putting them in between a piece of lettuce. These have been on for about five minutes. You know, we've flipped them a couple times. I'm gonna check out the temp. We're right on. Turn this down. Time to start laying some good on them. Now in my world, more good the better. Get our, our protein style burger out of ready. So basically, a couple pieces of lettuce. All there is to it, man. Myself some red onion. Tomato. Pickles and ketchup. So ketchup's kind of a no-no on keto, unless you get like the sugar-free and that's just kind of bland. So I'm gonna put just a little bit on here, just for flavor, nothing crazy. Perfect. Just check these out. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. Take this bad boy, put it over. And there you have it. Protein, protein style. Mm. Everything just comes together on this. I don't even miss the bun, to be honest with you. Tomato, onion, smoked Gouda burger, a little bit of salt and pepper. It's really all you need, man. In between a couple slices of lettuce, you're set. Look at that. Mm. All right, friends, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. Please remember to subscribe. It means a lot to us, especially a channel like us, a small. Ring the bell notifications. The recipe's down below. Um, we'll talk to you next time. Remember, hashtag Inspired Burger. Thank you, Ken Rogers, mostly outdoors. We'll talk to you later. And remember, the dude abides.